Now that we've finished all of our custom HTML for the questions and answers, we can go ahead and create our Google Earth. I already opened up Google Earth for web here, and I'm just going to create a new project. So create project. Title it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it training quiz. And I'm going to add my questions. My question one first, followed by answer one, then question two, followed by answer two, then question three, followed by answer three. And it's going to be a rough kind of go at the beginning, and then we'll fine tune it once we get all of our custom HTMLs in. I am going to start by adding a new feature, and all my questions are going to go in Antarctica to hide the icon and the label just in case. So I added a point, and I'm going to type in question one, and then edit this place. And if you recall from the previous videos, the info box is always a large info box. Come to VS Code, grab my question one, hit Control A, Control C to copy, switch this to HTML, and then replace that with your question one. The icon itself, I'm going to turn off the label every single time. So this says show text label. And if you don't see it, it's where you'll see show advanced options. You click on that and then that will hide the label. And I'm also going to add a custom icon. There's a blue uh, teardrop there, a little map drop uh, pin. I'm going to upload a custom icon. And the custom icon I'm going to upload is this one that says no icon. And that's in the blog and I'll put it in the video as well. You can just download that. And it's a one by one transparent icon. So I've got my icon where I, where I want it. I got my point where I want it. This first question ask about largest cities and it's pretty global. So I'll kind of put my camera there for the question, maybe one in and then capture this view. So that's where the camera is going to go whenever uh, you go to question one. And then preview just to make sure everything's working out right. So there's question one and then all of the options. After you do question one, you go to answer one. So answer one is in Tokyo. It's the correct response. So I'm going to fly down to kind of the Tokyo area and drop my pen. And I'll come back and I'll clean up the, the view later. So there is the pen for answer one, and I actually want the pen to show this time, so I'm going to leave it there, answer one. However, I don't want the label to say answer one, so I'm just going to get rid of the label altogether by clicking that toggle button. And then go to answer one here, control A to grab it all, control C to copy, switch to custom HTML, and then replace, make sure that double check to make sure you have the large info box chosen and go ahead and preview and see what we got here so there we go there's Tokyo and the other options and then the justification so right now I can just go there's my question one Now it's not set up yet. Well, this the last video is to set up the trigger the events on here. But we can kind of test it out to make sure that it's going to the right place. Cool. Okay. Then I'm going to scroll back out for question two, which was very a, kind of a regional question. And it was like Ethiopia, South Sudan, and Syria was the answer. So I'll come around here. Oops, forgot it moves back to the edit page whenever I do that. There we go. And then I'll, oops, I'll add a new feature. I'm going to do it a little bit different this, this time. So new feature, and I'll just put it here for right now. I'm going to call it question two, and then edit my place. And then go ahead and go to question two here, and then control A, control C, switch, replace, Make sure that it's on a large info box. And then I'm going to upload my custom icon because again, this is a question. I don't want an icon on the question. I don't even want to see anything. Turn off the label. And right here is where the, the change I'm going to do. So I can actually, or you can actually just place it to 
um, negative, I'll just say 85 degrees, doesn't matter the longitude. Um, that'll move the pin to Antarctica. So tab. And then we'll go ahead and capture this view. So the point doesn't have to be in the field of view. When you capture this view, the view is going to go here, but the point's down in Antarctica somewhere. Cool. And then that'll allow us to uh, get to Syria a lot quicker. Instead of me rotating the globe all the way back down to the South Pole. So Syria, I know it's here, but I'm going to put the pen around Aleppo. As far as the answer, so this is answer to. And then edit place. And switch to HTML. Control A, Control C, delete Control V. Turn off the label and then just preview. Oh, see, that's what I did when I didn't get the large screen. So you see it's all the small screen, which actually doesn't look too terrible. Uh, come over here and then switch the info box to large info box. And then make it look like that. So there's the question, which will fly out to here. You can answer the question, and then once you answer Syria or any of the other answers, it's going to fly to here. All right. And the last one is, I, I don't know, the city at the highest, capital city at the highest elevation. I'm going to do the question right about here. So question three, edit place. Go ahead and switch to HTML. Go to question three, control A, control C. Control V, large info box, upload the icon because it's a question, it's going to get no icon, turn off the label, and then make its latitude negative 85 degrees, which is 85 degrees south. Go ahead and capture this view. And then preview, make sure we still we're still good. Cool. And then the last one will be answer three, which is La Paz, which is somewhere around here. It's probably right here. Cool. So go ahead and click it there. Then this is answer three, edit place. Switch to HTML, go to answer three. I went control A, control C, control V, turn off the label. All right, and I think we're good. Preview that just to make sure I did it right. Awesome. So we've in, done all the custom HTML as far as the styling goes. We're going to fix the show and hide here in a little bit, and actually in the next video. So let's go ahead and present it to see what we're looking at. So here's our first question. take us to Tokyo and right away I don't like the way that the view is because Tokyo has a lot of 3d imagery so I'm gonna go ahead and click the edit go to answer one to edit it and I'm gonna zoom down and I'm holding the shift key and tilting the camera right now maybe zoom in a little bit and then this is where I want to actually capture the view so I'm gonna hit capture view Perfect. Let's go to answer two, which is supposed to take us over to Syria. I'm going to go ahead and add, edit answer two. And it doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to tilt the camera a little bit for effect. Let me capture that view to get us to Syria. And the last one, I'm going to take us to answer three, because I'm pretty sure I have all the question views correct, because they're all going to be kind of zoomed out. This one, we can really get help by getting the mountains in. Yeah, so first off, I didn't get the pen really well. So I'm going to move the pen, edit it. 
I'm going to move that pen closer to the city. And then I'm going to use the mountainscape as a way to create some sort of immersion. Cool. And then capture. So that's the way that you create just the beginnings of the Google Earth. So you have question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. To make to start with the, the next uh, lesson, we can give ourselves a little head start by go ahead and hiding all of the answers. And in the next lesson, what I'm going to do is show you how to incorporate JavaScript into your questions so that the answer will show when you click on one of those three options and reply to that area. So if you want to go ahead now and take all of your custom questions and custom answers and put them into Google Earth, uh, that'll be uh, what's necessary to begin the final lesson.